आपके एनटीसी डिपार्टमेंट पी आई सी टी पुणे टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द न्यू प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ आर एम टी सब्जेक्ट दट इज मेजरमेंट ऑफ वी एस डब्ल्यू आर मेजरमेंट ऑफ वी एस डब्ल्यू आर सो अवर टाइटल इज टू मेजर एंड वेरीफाई वोल्टेज स्टैंडिंग वेव रेशो विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ओपन शॉर्ट एंड मैच टर्मिनेशन by using the slotted line section so for a vswr measurement purpose we will use a this is a our block diagram this block diagram in a block diagram already we used mini blocks in a previous experiment our first block is nothing but a kishron power supply we know the use of this power supply second block is a klistron tube it is also known as a reflex klistron tube here this tube act as a oscillator it's generate a electromagnetic signal at a x band that is from 8 giga to 12 giga and we know from 8 to 12 is nothing but a, our microwave frequency third block is a isolator we know the operation of isolator here isolator avoid the reflected signal from the outside output side and it keep the stability of operating frequency of a oscillator our next block is a cavity resonator we know the function of cavity resonator it is used to measure the operating frequency of our reflex klistron that's why this cavity resonator is also known as a frequency meter microwave frequency meter our today's experiment is the thing but a study of vswr or measurement of vswr by using the slotted line section yeah so here we will use a slotted line section in this block and we will use the different type of termination like a match termination open termination and short termination across the slotted line section so look here this is our slotted line section the question comes in the mind why it is known as a slotted line section so you look carefully this wave guide here this terminal this two terminal end is nothing but my wave guide right hand side is a port 1 and left hand side is a port 2 and look here the slot is present inside the wave guide that's why it is known as a slotted line section yeah slotted line section in this slotted line section here this is our probe this probe or we can vary by using a this knob we can change the position of the probe and inside the probe means here we are using a detector and we know our detector is a scott key barrier diode detector okay now this probe is a tunable probe means we can change a input or impedance of this probe so this portion is used to determine or to match the impedance you look here it is valid yeah now question comes in the mind how to determine vswr by using the slotted line section before doing a experiment you should know what is the theory related to the vswr so i will explain the of theory of vswr first and then we will see how to measure the vswr by using the slotted line section yeah so look here this is the your wave guide yeah if you check a front view of this wave guide it looks like a two line so i will draw here this is a your first line and this is a your 
second half. Yeah. Now apply the sum AC voltage to the this waveguide. So this is your AC input and connect some load across a waveguide. So let us assume this is a your load. Yeah. So according to the maximum power transfer theorem, when the input voltage we apply across uh, these two terminal, so impedance across these two is nothing but a your Z in. Input across uh, this terminal is nothing but a Z in. So according to the maximum power transfer theorem, when your Z in perfectly match with a Z L, that time maximum power is delivered to the load. But if your load impedance is not perfectly matched with a input impedance that time some wave reflected back towards a generator yeah so in a waveguide we have a two type of wave one is forward wave and another is a reflected wave so when two waves are present inside the waveguide these two waves creates a new wave and that wave is known as a standing wave that standing wave not propagates in a forward direction or backward direction it just goes up and down up and down and if we measure the some voltage across a, this waveguide means if we take a some graph, this is a distance of your waveguide and this is a magnitude of your waveguide, means a voltage. Yeah. So if we draw the voltage standing wave on a, this waveguide, it looks like this. due to the mismatch due to the mismatch so in which this voltage is known as a Vmax voltage and this voltage is known as a V min voltage yeah so according to this theory we can define the voltage standing wave ratio so here voltage standing wave ratio VSWR is defined as it is the ratio of maximum voltage to the minimum voltage it is the ratio of maximum voltage to the minimum voltage but here we can't measure the Vmax and Vmin directly. Yeah. Theoretically, let us see what would be the ideal value of VS, VSWR and then we will perform the actual performance character or actual uh, parameters of VSWR. Practically, we will measure the VSWR parameter means Vmax voltage and weaving voltage across the slotted line section across or by using the slotted line section but theoretically first of all see what would be the value of your VSWR theoretically we can write this VSWR in this way 1 plus mod of tau divided by 1 minus mod of reflection partition so this parameter is known as a tau or the meaning of this parameter is nothing but a reflection coefficient yeah. and we know how to calculate the reflection coefficient already we have seen in a previous uh, year or in a electromagnetic subject yeah we know 
the reflection coefficient across the any transmission line or across the any waveguide we can calculate by using the zl minus zo divided by zl plus zo yeah here zl is nothing but the this impedance and zo is nothing but characteristic impedance of waveguide or transmission line yeah so when you are z in this z in and z out both are matched to each other obviously but if your z o or z in are not matched with a z l that time you will get a reflection coefficient so look here what will be the case for reflection coefficient and uh, uh, how to calculate a vsw when you are z l is equals to match match means when you are z l is perfectly match with a z o or we can say z in that time this portion becomes a zero yes z l minus z zero becomes a zero and this may be a some value like a z l plus z zero so zero divided by something is nothing but zero and hence hence the our ideal case ideal case this is a termination and this is a vswr yeah my termination is a match so i will write here this is a match so in match termination what would be the my vswr if i put the reflection coefficient is equals to zero in this formula we will get a vswr is equals to 1 so ideally the ideally the voltage standing wave ratio for a match condition is equals to 1 let us see the what would be the your vswr for a short and open case so first of all take a open keep a your impedance is equals to open means load is equals to open there is no any load available across the waveguide this case so according to the electromagnetic theory we know when your transmission line is equals to the open that time your load is act as a very high and very high means the infinity if i put the value of infinity here means very high so we know this part is a neglected so some high divided by high so my reflection coefficient is nothing but one if we put a one in this case so look here 1 minus 1 is 0 something divided by 0 is nothing but a infinity is nothing but a infinity yeah so vswr across a open case is nothing but a infinity so here here for a for a open termination means for a open termination ideal case for a vswr is nothing but a infinity yeah now my third case or last case is nothing but my node is a short circuit short circuit means short circuit means my zl is equals to 0 if i put a my zl equals to 0 here and here so what will happen my answer zo divided by zo but this is a minus so my magnitude of reflection coefficient is 1 but some minus angle but we know 
this reflection coefficient is a phasor quantity. Here we can write the magnitude is 1 and angle is 180. Yeah. And in open case we can write 1 magnitude and 0 degree. But here we are using only magnitude. So put the value of reflection coefficient as a 1 here. So again see 1 minus 1 is a 0 and something divided by 0 is nothing but infinity. So in a short termination your ideal case of VHWR is also the infinity. Is also the infinity. Yeah. Now question comes in the mind how to measure the VHWR in a our lab by using a slotted line section. Now look here. I told you if this is my slotted line section. I will use this. We will use this slotted line section here. So look here. This is the position of your slotted line section. Now apply the some input to this code. Keep your this probe position towards the load because we know. We are measuring the VHWR and reflection coefficient from the load side. And here use a match termination. So use a match termination means look here, this portion is known as a match terminator. So impedance of this port and impedance of this port would be a same. Would be the same. So our case is like this. This is a match termination. Now question comes in the mind, how to measure the magnitude, which magnitude, V max and V min magnitude. So what we will do, we will connect uh, your, this probe to the CRO, this is the detector, means this portion and here we will connect to the CRO or DS. Yeah. Now our step is to vary your slotted line section from load side towards the input side. So obviously we will get a this type of waveform. Obviously. Sometimes we will get a V max, sometimes we will get a V mix. Sometimes we will get a V max, sometimes we will get a V mix. Yes. And then we we'll measure the V max voltage and V min voltage with respect to a your website. With respect to your website. Yes. So this is the first case your termination was match termination. Now second case, your termination is a open. In open, keep your slotted line section like this. Here connect your oscillator by using the, these blocks. Okay? And keep this termina terminal, means load terminal as it is, open. And connect your probe of CRO to the this detector. And again do the same thing, vary the your probe position by using this knob from right side to the left side or we can say from load side to the input side in this way. Yeah. Again similarly you will get a this type of waveform, Vmax, Vmin. It is not necessary that you will get always Vmax first, you will get a Vmin also, it is depending upon the your termination. Yes. And last termination is nothing but a short termination. In short termination, what we will do? We will keep your slotted line section position like this, but we will use a this, this portion as a slotted line. In electromagnetic, we know any conductor act as a short circuit. Yeah. Any conducting circuit. So what we will do? We will connect uh, this terminal, this slotted line section, uh, slotted line section to uh, this sheet like this. We will fix. This condition is known as a short circuit. Yeah. So look here, keep uh, your short circuit like this and vary the your probe from load side towards a uh, input side like this. Again we will get a same type of waveform. Vmax, V, Vmax, V. -min. v, -min. v -min. Yeah. And then we will calculate a Vmax and Vmin. Any value. 
you measure the your value of Vmax here or here anywhere you will get a constant yeah if you measure the Vm here or here you will get a constant yeah and we know the distance between two maxima is a lambda value and distance between one first maxima a one maxima and one minima is a lambda value yeah okay, so in this way we will measure the vswr with respect to the different termination like a match open and short and we will check our reading of vswr with a ideal term ideal condition with a ideal condition okay thank you hello students welcome to radiation and microtechnical laboratory today's experiment is related to measurement of vswr that is voltage standing wave ratio and that vswr can be calculated for three different condition open circuit short circuit and match termination to measure VSWR in three different conditions, here you can use the slotted line waveguide section to measure VSWR. Why the slotted line section has been used to measure VSWR that is already explained in the theory. But in a brief, in short, you can say using the slotted line section, I can move the probe so that wherever maxima and minima can be observed because of different reflection from the load side towards the source side can be observed. Let us see how this VSWR can be measured for three different conditions. Now let us use the same microwave page which is operating at X band frequency which is in the range of 8 gigahertz to 12 gigahertz. So again the similar setup of X band source can be used to give the signal to the slotted line section as an input and using the slotted line V max and V min we can able to calculate the VSWR. Once again give a look over here to the power supply which is driving the reflex cholesterol whose beam voltage that has been set is 2.246 volt DC. Beam current for that beam voltage is 14 milliampere. It should not go beyond 20 milliampere. Repeller voltage 246 volt DC. So again in the setup, essential components are source, which is nothing but reflex cholesterol with cooling provision. Isolator is essential component. Variable attenuator optional component. If you want to reduce the magnitude of the out, uh, source that can be able to reduce. Then frequency meter which is having principle of cavity resonator. So if you want to measure frequency inside the waveguide you can be measured using this cavity resonator. So complete setup output is given to the slotted line section and under the slotted line section, tunable probe has inserted. So you can see this probe which we can tune by changing its impedance. We can move it up and down slightly and wherever we are getting the maximum output on the oscilloscope in the square waveform, there we can stop tuning it. So this is the pickup point and internally it has a diode and then diode again it is going to the oscilloscope. So basically the modulated signal which has been launched inside the waveguide that can be detected and the modulating signal will be back as a square wave. So it, it is inserted inside the slotted line section and we can rotate it towards the end or the termination side of the slotted line section. Now the situation if you will observe, I have not connected anything to the other port of slotted line section. So I can say this is the open condition, 
open impedance that can be coming at the end of the slotted line section. For short circuit observation, we can connect it with the shorting plate at the end termination. For matching, a match termination can be used which we can connect over here as a load. So as per the open, short and match termination, we can be able to measure two voltages. One is V max and V mean. Now let us move towards the measurement from the extreme load side towards the source side by moving this knob slightly and keep observing oscilloscope. Let us measure the condition for open termination. The tunable probe is connected to the slotted line section and the output square wave you can observe on the oscilloscope with its magnitude. Now keeping this as an open termination, now I can move towards the source by using this variable movable knob to measure the maxima. So I am moving towards source. So at one particular point, I can get maximum square wave output. So the magnitude is 126 millivolt as a maxima. So at the V max position means while moving, turning the slotted line section, wherever we find maximum square wave magnitude, that voltage we can note down as V max voltage for the open termination condition. So it is 164 millivolt. Now let us measure V mean position. So keep turning using this knob. We can see it is reducing the magnitude of the square wave, output square wave and which is almost 44 millivolts. Now let us note it V mean as 44 millivolt. So I can immediately able to calculate V max upon V mean which is 164 millivolt divided by 44 millivolt. So it comes 3.72 as a VSWR. Now let us measure V max and V mean by shorting the load termination. So I am shorting it with the short plate. So the V max and V mean I can able to measure. So I am keeping I am keeping V the load termination as short. So again from load to source we should move the tunable probe and can able to measure V max and V mean with the similar procedure. So I am moving it for measurement of V max. So it is showing 1 So the maximum magnitude is 168 millivolt. Let us note this 168 millivolt as Vmax and now again move towards the source so that we will get minima. So I am moving towards the source It is still reducing, still going down, down, 
and it is reaching almost to zero. Here it is showing six millivolt as minima. So once again we will note it six millivolt as minima. So student, if you keep on turning it, you can observe it will repeat the same thing. V max will be there. Again minima will appear. Again V max and V mi. It shows inside the waveguide you can have the standing wave signal into it. So it will have V max, V mean, V max, V mean, V max, V mean. Now to go for third observation, which is for match termination and getting its VSWR, I have now attached match termination to the slotted line section as a load. So load impedance is now as a match almost to the slotted line section. Now once again we can repeat the same procedure to get the V max and V mean. So I am moving it again towards the source side so that I can able to get maximum square wave signal. So this maximum square wave signal is 162 millivolt. Let us note it 162 millivolt as the maximum and let us move towards minima getting the minima. So I am again going towards the source side. So here students you can understand here it is minima. So let us note minima. It is 106 millivolt. Let us note 106 millivolt. So we can able to calculate now VSWR. So V max is 168 divided by 6. So it is 28 which is going to very high value. For match 162 divided by 106 which is coming to 1.52. So this is, this observation is the practical observation in the case of open termination, short termination and the match termination which we have observed practically. Now let us understand theoretically which already Professor Hake has explained you on the board. Let us give, revise the few things for getting or comparing theoretical value with the practical values. It has been already, already informed or instructed you to calculate VSWR practically. We can use this equation V max upon V mean. VSWR has another relation with reflection coefficient tau. So VSWR relation with tau is 1 plus mod tau and 1 minus mod tau. For calculating VSWR, we always use the magnitude of reflection coefficient. It can be the mag it, reflection coefficient, it, it, is imag it can be imaginary and real value. So only magnitude, real value that we are considering to calculate VSWR. Reflection coefficient relation with impedances is ZL minus ZO which is characteristics impedance of the waveguide and ZL divided by ZL plus ZO. So using these three equation we can able to compare it with the theoretical and practical observation. Let us move for match open and again third short condition. So if it is a match termination ZL is equal to ZO if it is totally matched characteristic impedance of a transmission line if it is completely matched ideally match with the load what you are connecting then ZL it is a match condition which we call ZL equal to ZO. So let us put this ZL and ZO value into the reflection coefficient tau. So ZL minus ZO upon ZL plus ZO if it is same 
it becomes zero. So if reflection coefficient is zero, VSWR which we have seen is one plus reflection coefficient upon one minus reflection coefficient, it becomes one plus this zero uh, reflection coefficient zero here and one minus zero. So VSWR in a matching condition or we can say in an ideal condition, we will get as one. So VSWR equal to one. In case of open termination, ZL, the load impedance, it can be high because the termination is not there and it is almost the intrinsic impedance, open space impedance offered to the termination of waveguide. Right? So, let us move again for the similar calculation. Here, ZL is high. It is not similar to the characteristic impedance of a transmission line which is up, which we can say approximately 50 ohm impedance. So, this is high value and this is low value. So, which is very very negligible as compared to the ZL. So, we can say it is almost ZL. So, reflection coefficient becomes ZL upon ZL which comes almost 1. If we put this reflection coefficient 1 into the VSWR equation, we will get 1 plus 1 upon 1 minus 1. So, it is infinity. So, if it is mismatch and like open termination, it is moving towards infinity. For short circuit condition, the load what we connect is a shorting plate. So, load impedance we can say 0. If we put into the reflection coefficient, ZL is 0, 0 minus ZO, 0 plus ZO. Reflection coefficient comes as minus 1. This minus 1 we can write as in a magnitude and angle as 1 angle 180 degree. So, if we again put it into the VSWR equation, we can able to calculate VSWR which again comes as infinity or you can say very high value. So, if we compare theoretical or ideal conditions with the practical condition, you can understand, you can compare open here you got more than one or more than two short circuit you can understand it is moving towards 28 and maybe beyond that it can go and for match it is going towards close to one in practical or in a in a industrial application many times maximum value of vswr that can be considered is two below two one to two can be acceptable if the vswr is going beyond two value it means there is a mismatch and there can be the reflection towards the source and that cannot be accepted. Similarly, as I have connected the match load and the uh, other open condition and short circuit condition, one can connect directly horn, waveguide horn antenna over here. If I connect that as a load, that horn antenna impedance I can able to calculate by measuring VSWR with the similar procedure. So again major connect on antenna as a load. Move this to get Vmax and Vmin. Once you get Vmax upon Vmin, you will able to calculate reflection coefficient. If you find reflection coefficient, ZO is known which is characteristic impedance. So you can be able to calculate the unknown impedance ZL. This is how in this experiment, one can measure unknown impedance using this slotted line section. So, the application, if you try to understand, slotted line section will give the better idea to measure or to verify VSWR of known or unknown impedances or open circuit or short circuit impedances. So, uh, with all this setup, you can draw a conclusion whichever things that I have been explained to you about BSWR. Thank you.